Hello, this is aerialmarket.co.uk. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to join cable that's been broken or cut. In other words, satellite or aerial cable. As you can see, this piece has probably been, been chewed by a dog or cut in half. We need to put it back together the proper way. The first thing you have to do is get yourself a pair of snips and cut the ends of the cable nice and straight, like so. So you've got a nice straight edge to work with. Same on the other end. There we are, we've cut them nice and straight. Next thing you have to do is put a piece on called an F connector or a satellite connector. The way it works is normally the cable goes in this end and this end here screws onto the sky box or onto your free sat box. But we need to get the cable into this end of the F connector. So we need to prepare this cable to go into this connector. I myself use a model knife but basically, if you score the cable back about one inch from the end, you're trying to get the sheathing of the satellite cable off. So we turn that like that, pull that, and we now got the sheathing. This is called the braiding and the sheathing again. We need to pull that back overneath, over the plastic sheathing and basically pull this tin foil sheathing off. Next job we have to do is cut the dielectric back. This is the dielectric. We need to cut this back about half an inch. It's halfway again. If I get my knife, score around. Twiddle that off we're left with the cable. Now what we've got here is the braiding centre core. Braiding must not touch the centre core. If the braiding touches the centre core it shorts, shorts the small voltage out that goes to the LMD on the dish. Or it will short the signal out if you're using it for an aerial. We now get the F connector. You'll see it's got a spline head. And we turn, push it on and turn it onto the cable. And we keep turning until the white plastic is showing there. We then can tidy this up. Okay. Like so. We tidy this up. You could use a pair of scissors for this if you haven't got a knife. Then we need to cut the centre core back so it's just popping out the top of the F connector so it looks like that. Now, if you have done this wrong, you will end up with braiding coming up through the centre of uh, the F connector and touching the centre core. If you see that, if your plug ends up like that, this is no good. You're, you're, you're not going anywhere. So make sure you've got no braiding coming up through into the plug. Once you've got your F connector on properly, like so, next thing is you get a F line, F line joiner. See this? That's what it looks like. This is designed to join two F connectors together. So if I get my F F line joiner, screw it in to my F connector like so. I end up with that. Now, here's an F connector I put onto the other end of the cable earlier. So this now allows me to push and connect this onto that end of the F line joiner, turn in. Nice tight. So now I have got 
my proper inline F joiner. If this is inside the house, this is fine. But if you cut your cable on the outside of the house and you wish to join it, you need to weatherproof it. We use a uh, tape called self-amalgamating tape. This is like a rubberized tape uh, instead of the plastic insulation tape. This will do a better job of uh, weatherproofing the connection. So basically you pull the white backing off like so. So you're left with the um, rubberized tape. So you start with one end a little past the thing and as you put it around the connection you stretch it. I don't know if you can see me doing that. Stretch it around the connection. Keep stretching and keep going up the connection. Turning round. Stretching all the time. Stretching around the connection. Working our way up through the whole connection so none of the plugs are on show. All the way up. Turn that round. Push them with your fingers, and there we have it. That is a waterproof join that can be used on the outside of the house. As we see there, this can be used for aerial cable or satellite. If you have a modern um, HD recordable box, you will be using a different cable and a different F connector. If you look at the F connector I'm going to show you, this is called a shotgun F connector. And as you can see, it's a smaller ball than the um, normal connector. Because the cable it fits on is this kind of cable, which is 7 mil, no, which is 4 mil, sorry, instead of the normal 7 mil. So when you do a twin connection, you should end up with something like this. As you can see, I haven't rubberproofed this, but this is the proper way to um, connect s twin satellite or twin sky cable, shotgun cable together. And if you were going to put that outside, you would also wrap this in self-amalgamating tape. In your kit, that we supply for shotgun or standard cable, single cable, you'll see we supply the sulfur amalgamating tape to go with the repair job. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you with your repair of your cable.